Imagine walking into a sunlit temple and seeing walls alive with brilliant blues, deep reds, and dazzling golds. Ever wondered how ancient artists achieved such vibrant colors without modern chemistry? Their secret lay in nature's palette and remarkable ingenuity. The famous blue of Egyptian tombs, known as Egyptian blue, was crafted by heating sand, copper, and limestone, a process that made it the first synthetic pigment in history, dating back over 4,500 years. For rich reds, artists turned to minerals like cinnabar, a mercury ore prized for its vivid hue, while bright yellows came from ground-up orpiment, an arsenic sulfide mineral that required careful handling. Some pigments were so precious they were worth their weight in gold. Ultramarine, a striking deep blue, was made by grinding lapis lazuli, a rare gemstone mined in Afghanistan and transported thousands of miles along ancient trade routes. Even plants played a role. Indigo dye extracted from leaves and matter root for reds and rich textiles and artworks alike. These pigments didn't just add beauty, they carried meaning, signifying status, spirituality, and power. Each color tells a story of discovery, trade, and ingenuity, revealing how creativity and early science combined to color the ancient world in ways that still captivate us today.